Hello guys, this is ZooxAquarium.com. If you are new to the channel make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell then you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Today we would like to share some experiences with aquarium gadgets. Flow Accelerator had born over 10 years ago and it had been popular for a long while. It can improve the water flow speed at a low cost compared to a wave pump. Today's, there are many different models to create random flow or concentrate high-speed flow etc. But do you know how it works and what is the best circumstances to use it? The flow accelerator is used with the Venturi effect to increase flow speed to generate pressure to have a large flow rate inside the aquarium. While the pump transports the water to the flow accelerator, it will output the water at a much faster speed than usual, and the pressure will be generated to absorb more water currently in the aquarium to the flow accelerator while result a larger amount output. You can check the flow speed experiment below. A flow speed without water accelerator. The flow speed around 1.3 per second. A flow speed with a flow accelerator. The flow speed are increased to around 2.3 per second. According to the experiment above, the flow accelerator did increase the outlet flow speed two times. However, is the water accelerator so good to improve the water flow in your aquarium? Sure, but you should understand its defect first and make sure you can accept it. The flow accelerator are using a very small diameter of outlet to increase the flow rate. There is a very serious defect, it will lower the turnover rate if you use it with your return pump. It is a serious problem with filtration, especially in heavy bio-load aquariums. We know the livestock in the aquarium is generating pollution all the time. For example, uneaten food, excrement, secretion, etc. Polluted water will go through the filtration sump for filtration and back to the aquarium. Therefore, the turnover rate is pretty important to water quality. For example, a return pump with a 5,000 liters flow rate per hour has been used in a 500 liters aquarium and will transport the filtrated water from the filtration sump to the aquarium, the turnover rate is around 10 times per hour. However, if you install the flow accelerator, the actual flow rate will drop rapidly. It will have around 50 to 60% left compared to if you don't install a flow accelerator. It will cause your aquarium turnover rate to drop down 40 to 50%. The turnover rate will drop from 10 times per hour to 5 to 6 times per hour. Here are some experiments on the flow rate change. 1. Pump A without flow accelerator. The flow rate around 4,700 liters per hour. 2. Pump A with flow accelerator. The flow rate drowned to around 2,800 liters per second rapidly. As you can see in experiment pump A, the flow rate will drop 40% after you install the water accelerator. And it will lower down 40% of the turnover rate of your aquarium. Therefore, we suggest using a water accelerator in a closed loop system to increase flow movement, but we are not pretty much recommend using it with a filtration transport. Here is the video today and leave your comments below if you have some great ideas for using this gadget. See you next time.